Welcome to Bananatan VR. The island of Bananatan lies before you. Your goal is to settle Bananatan, expanding your territory until it becomes the largest and most glorious in the land. The island consists of 19 randomly placed terrain tiles, surrounded by an ocean of piss. There are five types of resource generating terrain, each of which produces a different resource. Jungles produce bananas. Forests produce pornography. The rubber mines, they produce butt plugs. Crystal caves produce crystal meth. And rainbow waterfalls produce pure liquid LSD. There is also a giant ass, which produces nothing but farts on die rolls of seven and two. Now, if an 8 is rolled, all terrain tiles with an 8 produce resources. In the example on screen, the player would receive one crystal meth card from their crystal caves and one LSD card from their rainbow waterfalls. This combination means they receive the I am really high marker, worth two super D duper points. However, if another player gets higher than this player, then they take the I am really high marker. How high a player is can be seen above their avatar. On your turn, you can do the following. Roll a 47-sided dice for resource production. Trade resource cards with other players and the bank. Stick your finger in the giant ass for a free People's Revolution card. Build psychedelic orgy dungeons or upgrade your existing psychedelic orgy dungeons into a fentanyl fuck factory. Building a fentanyl fuck factory requires three butt plugs, two pornographies, and 19 crystal meths, and awards two super de duper points. In one special scenario, if your rubber mines have not produced your desired amount of butt plugs, but your jungles have produced an abundance of bananas, you may substitute bananas for butt plugs once every three turns. During your turn, you can also trade with the bank at a 4 to 1 ratio. But, if you have a fentanyl fuck factory adjacent to a harbor, you can trade with the bank on more favorable terms. Mystery harbors, marked with a question mark, are run by ghosts. They allow you to trade any resource with the ghosts at a 3 to 1 ratio. But, the ghosts get to overrun one of your psychedelic orgy dungeons, which could cause you to get less high, endangering your I am really high marker if you're the one in possession of it. On a dice roll of 7, no resources are generated. The queefer prevents it. The player who rolled the 7 then places the queefer in a new terrain tile. If the queefer is placed adjacent to multiple players, the person placing the queefer chooses who gets queefed on. The working poor of Bananatan have been trying to stage a violent uprising for some time now. There are five types of People's Revolution cards in Bananatan. The Dirt Bike City Baby card gives you two free dirt bike trails to place on the board. Playing a Queef Slayer card allows you to silence the dreaded Queefer, moving her to a new terrain tile just like rolling a 7. And finally, each Super D Duper Point card adds one Super D Duper Point to your Super D Duper Point total. If you have 10 or more Super D Duper Points at any point during your turn, you win the game. Congratulations, you are now familiar with the rules of Bananatan.